Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm Brad. And today on Dude Food, we're at a Mies restaurant in Philadelphia, and we're going to show you how to cook live eels. We are going to be cooking up some eels today. Um, this is part of a long list of fish that is used for the Feast of the Seven Fishes. I grew up in the, the great state of New Jersey where the seven fishes is a big part of the Christmas tradition. So what we're going to do it's is... It's not a real Italian holiday, is it? It's real in the state of New Jersey. <laughs> what we're going to do first is we're going to unveil the eel. And here they are live squirming around. You want to take the eels out and you basically need to put them asleep. All right, so we have ice here. We're going to carefully transfer a couple of the eels into the ice. And we're each going to take a turn here because this You're, is the, the funnest part. It, the reason you put them in the ice is because you want the ice to get the lower their body temperature so that they get very cold and when you go to kill them that they don't squirm around on the cutting board as much. So we, are we using a, a towel? Or yeah, a towel? yeah, they're going to slide out of your hand, so right. you're going to want to use a towel. So I'm scared, so I'm going to use a towel. Ah! Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, so this guy, this guy's not really, oh, he's alive. Oh, sh yeah, so what you're going to do <laughs> is get him in the ice. So you put a lid on top here so they don't go flying back to get Jersey. Them out, right? <laughs> get in there, dude. <laughs> Alright. Alright. We'll let those sit in there for about a half an hour. So here, here are the eel. They've been sitting for about a half an hour in the ice. So Brad's gonna demo the first one. First thing we're gonna do is just make an incision right behind the, the, the head. Just gonna cut that. All right, open that up. And then this is where this comes in use. You wanna and pound this into the cutting board. It's a little gruesome, but you just don't want them to move. You know, the idea of putting them to sleep like that, you know, they're not they're not suffering now. So the idea is to take the tip of the knife and you wanna run all the way along the eel, all right? Cutting through the back and not exposing the blade through the belly. Finding where the where the where that bone is, and you're going to rest right on top of that bone. You know, it may seem like a product that's kind of hard to find, but you can go to any Asian market or Chinatown, and, and they, have, they always have tanks of live, live eels. And those are the best places to get them. Keep going along. All the way down. All right. And now you open her up. So it's just like a fish. you got both sides of the fillet. We'll clean a little bit of these guts out of there. Pull the, pull the entrails out. Yeah. Now the idea is to get that bone. You're going to cut through here and then just go along the same way. And you're angling your knife up to try to avoid taking any flesh off with it. All Don't right. kill it, dude. All right. Take that bone right off. All right, so we just finished breaking down the eel. You see they're all cleaned up. You know, they have a little bit of pin bones still left in them, but it, they're so small. By the time you get done cooking them, you don't really notice it. But now we have to take the skin off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a pot of boiling water. So while Jeff's doing that, I'm going to actually get started on the sauce. Real, real simple sauce. Uh, again, tomato, garlic, uh, a little bit of basil, bay leaf, white wine. So we're just going to julienne the onion, cut it in half, remove the skin, and then just cut it thin so it kind of melts away in the sauce. And what we're going to do with the hot water is we're going to dip the eel in here for about 30 seconds and then put it in some ice water to, to cool it off real fast. About 30 seconds. So I'm just going to pull that out real quick, throw it in some ice water to cool it off. Again, this isn't cooking it. It's just, it's just making it so it's a little bit easier to take the skin off. Dry it off a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. So we'll separate these two fillets. Go down. Feel there. if there's any bones. I mean, if there's a little bit of bone, that's no big deal. You're just gonna chew right through that. Skin it just like just like you would a, a fish. And there's a little bit of gelatin on this side. And when you're cooking it, that's gonna kind of melt into the sauce and give the sauce real a really nice richness and some body to it as well. Now we're gonna start cutting them basically the way that I like to do this. So I like to make little rolls. And as you roll it, 
You hit it with a toothpick. Doing, cooking one of these eels is a lot of work, but it's one of those things that you get the family involved. I'm going to do this with my son Christmas Eve. It'll be a tradition in our family. Yeah, the, whole, the whole idea of having tradition is, is, is hanging out in the kitchen together, cooking together, eating together. Drinking together, yeah. fighting together, <laughs> in the case of my place. So when you're done, you should have all these little packets of eel, little rolls like this. Now we get the eel all cleaned up and we're ready to braise it into tomato sauce. What we're doing is we're gonna start off by crushing a clove of garlic. And you wanna crush it because you never wanna chop it up and put it in and let it cook in there. You always wanna brown it and then take it out. Unless you're from Jersey. Jersey. And I'm gonna start to season up the eel. We're gonna season it up with some salt and pepper. And you just want that flavor of that garlic to get into the oil. And you're gonna toast it for a little bit and then you're gonna remove it. And then we're gonna to start to dredge all the eel and some flour. Make sure you dust it off though. You don't want, you don't want a lot of flour on top of the, on top of the eel. Just flip that on, get it nice and golden brown. You just don't wanna burn it. Now we're gonna throw the eel in the pan. And we're just looking to brown the, the eel on all sides. So you don't really wanna move it too much. You wanna get a nice crust, let it cook. Don't kinda of mess with it, otherwise it's gonna to stick to the pan. And these are going to cook for like 20 minutes, so you're not really worried about it overcooking at this point. You can probably take that garlic out now. Yeah, take the garlic out so it doesn't burn. That's good. We'll take that out. Turn the heat down. Take the eel out. Add some onions. Yeah, add the onions. We're going to throw some onions in there. Add a little bit of salt at this point that will help break down the onions. Give it a little stir. So we're gonna add a little bit of wine in the pan, and we're gonna reduce that out. And then we also have some uh, canned tomatoes. We like to use San Marzano's, but you can get any kind of canned, whole, peeled, plum tomatoes. And you kind of want to just crush it up with your hand. You want it to be kind of chunky, chunky style. Once all the wine's reduced, what you're gonna do is just pour the tomatoes right in there. You want a nice rustic sauce with this. You don't want a nice pureed tomato sauce. So once he broke, once he broke those up. We're just gonna put the eel right back in. You're just gonna bring this to a simmer. The bay leaf. Oh, bay leaf. Forgot the bay leaf. Yeah, throw the bay leaf Gotta in there. Gotta have a bay leaf in there, all right? Get the bay leaf in there. You can, you can kind of cover them. these up, turn the heat down on them, and just kind of let them go. And take about 15, 20 minutes. So these eels have been cooking for about 20 minutes now. The sauce is nice and reduced, and they're just tender. Want to now, throw some basil in there? Throw some basil in there. How do they say it in Jersey? <laughs> basil agat. Basil agat. Basil agat. All right. And then we're going to serve this with polenta. Real, real traditional. We made some, some regular white, white polenta, just cooked with water and salt. Well, just put that right in there. All right. Yeah. You can take the toothpicks out. We're going to leave them in. And we like to always finish with a little bit of olive oil on top, a little extra virgin, you know. Dude, dude this thing was moving around, <laughs> flopping on the floor about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> it's really good. Happy holidays. Thanks for watching Dude Food. And make sure you subscribe. Follow Kevin Gillespie to Chef Dale Talday's Pork Slope for a bite of his Porky Melt, a cheddar bratwurst starring Bacon's favorite cousin, the sausage. Plucked from the leaves of Mopani trees, Mopani worms are a typical African snack. Find out what they taste like on Why Would You Eat That? In this special episode of Taste Explosions, get the director's bird's eye view and go behind the scenes as we prep elaborate foods, then blow them up slow-mo style. Watch Noah and Why Would You Eat That's Michael Truly sample the holiday season's worst flavored vodkas. Then fill your own glass for a farewell salute to the Twinkie. Subscribe for more free tasted treats.